This is the latest lithium ion battery from DeWalt, which we're going to be testing in a minute. Uh, I've recently purchased a kit that has the lithium ion battery in it, the lithium ion charger, and uh, a drill. So, batteries used to be either NICAD or, or NIM batteries, but now the new, what, the new ones are lithium ion, which is supposed to last a lot longer. So, these batteries are 18 volts and they are it's a 2 amp power and it's also backwards compatible so that means you can get it and you can get your DeWalt tools that are 18 volts and that'll fit straight on it so whichever DeWalt 18 volt tool you've got that battery is going to fit it But you can't just go and buy a battery, you do need the charger to go with it as well. So the chargers are backwards compatible, so you can, you can charge the lithium ion batteries on them. The NICAD batteries and the NIM batteries as well. But you can't charge the new lithium ion batteries on the old chargers because as Big Al pointed out this morning they just don't fit. So if you're thinking of upgrading to a lithium ion battery, you'd also need a charger to go with it as well. But once you've got that charger, you can charge your existing batteries up with it. Uh, this particular one is a 40 minute charger, so that's pretty good. And you can use it on all voltages from 7.2 up to 18 volts. So what are the benefits of a lithium ion battery? Well, for starters, it's supposed to be a lot lighter. So we'll just weigh that one. And that weighs in at 675 grams and the equivalent 2 amp hour NICAD battery is 1020 grams so that one is considerably lighter than the older batteries you can recharge uh, a NICAD battery like that up to 800 times apparently uh, before it'll stop holding its charge apparently you can charge these up to 2000 times before this, they start to lose the charge you can also part charge these batteries the lithium ion ones you can just run it down halfway put it back on charge and it won't arm it whatsoever with a, a NICAD or an in battery you need to run it all the way down before you put it back on charge if you just use half of the power from the battery and then put it back on charge you'll actually damage the battery it's called the memory effect and uh, subsequently when you come to charge it time after time if you've been power charging it it just won't all charge for long and eventually your battery will stop taking charge at all so that's the advantage of this battery you can power charge it and also you can recharge it up to 2000 times apparently that's what all the uh, manufacturers are saying but what we want to know is is it any good so what we're going to do now is we're going to try drilling some holes in wood using this battery and also using this battery and see how many we can do with each one so before we start to drill the holes I'm going to be using that hole saw which is a very aggressive hole saw and it needs a powerful drill to go through wood with a, an hole saw like that and then I'm going to use a 2 amp hour NICAD battery and then a 2 amp hour lithium ion battery and we're going to see just how many holes we can drill with each battery which should be a fair test of whether or not the batteries are any good so I've charged this battery up for an hour so that is fully charged and because this was the first time I've ever charged this one I've charged it up for 10 hours as they recommend also before we start out I'd like to point out that this isn't a normal hole saw it does take quite a powerful drill to get one of these through also I've got my safety gloves on and safety glasses so we're just going to see now how many holes we can put in the sheet of flooring grade chipboard using the NICAD battery I'll just stop there because it is quite dusty so I'm also going to put a dust mask on
So it's actually died there now the battery. So we've got thir 13 and a half holes using the NICAD battery. So we're going to try again now using the uh, lithium ion and see what result we get from that. So I'll leave that one there as a marker and then I'll just carry on and we'll see how many we can do with the lithium ion. And then it's just stopped there on that one and it's uh, st actually stopped dead which I, I believe it's supposed to do because these are supposed to be micro processor controlled so that they're not damaged and there we managed to get 33 holes using uh, a 2 amp hour battery what you also have to remember is this is a brand new 2 amp hour battery and the other battery that I was using is uh, a couple of years old although it's not been used that much but uh, I've heard a lot of people say that these batteries have no guts in them and you can't actually drill big holes like that using them. Uh, so to those people, I, I think they should uh, get in touch with DeWalt and get them to have a look at the battery to make sure it's not defective because it did perform pretty well there. So when you consider everything, uh, the, the weight advantage and the fact that they don't have a memory effect and the fact that they can be charged 2,000 times if you can get them at the right money, they are a decent enough buy. And uh, I'm pretty sure that soon you won't be able to buy uh, NICADs or NIM batteries and it'll all be lithium in the future.